Alrighty, welcome boys, girls, turtles, whoever you are. This is another episode of Smite Super Builds, if you haven't noticed already. And we have Vamana here. Now, Vamana as a whole is not really that much played of a god. Um, I, in particular, I enjoy Vamana. I think he's a lot of fun, especially his ulti. Um, and also, as always, I'm going to go through these items I have here, then I will go over other items that are also, also good with Vamana. Now, what's cool about Vamana is he's really versatile in how you want to build him. You can go multiple routes and then at the same time there are a couple core items that you you always want to have you know just put in your build as a mana uh, but yeah always have you know uh, you, you can always be flexible with this build which is really cool so um first things first the the, the core items for Vamana if you don't know already is definitely <laughs> wow I don't know what happened there it's definitely haste of Vitalis haste of Vitalis is an amazing item and it's a must-have item for Vamana uh, and the reason why is the passive so wait, wait, it, it's mainly for his ulti once you get into your ulti you know you're a huge baby uh, you're getting a lot of protection you're getting a lot of power you have a uh, really good HP 5 um, and all your basic attacks are area of effect skills or uh, uh, basic attacks rather not skills um, but the only thing is you you, you kind of move a little slow. You move at your normal pace. And typically when somebody sees you in your ulti form as Vamana, they just run away. And that's the end of that. But Haste Metallus changes that. So as soon as you get close to your enemies, you know, pop your ulti. And as soon as you start basic attacking, uh, then the passive Haste Metallus kicks in. And then most likely they, they can't get away from you. So that allows you to pull off all your damage. Uh, it's a really good chase item for Vamana. He definitely needs it. Uh, definitely put this in all of your builds for Vamana. Uh, when to get it, you may ask. I typically start it first um, if if it was Arena. Uh, assault, I may get it as like my second or third item. Uh, as far as like Assault in general, that's when most most people may get Vamana. Uh, if I'm fighting uh, quite a few mages, like at least two mages on the other team as Vamana, I pick up Stone and Gas, my first item. Uh, because of the huge HP 5 and MP 5 and everything helps you really sustain really well especially in combination with your old team now if you're fighting against mainly physicals um, which blade isn't too bad for that case because uh, you gain the physical protection which turns into physical power once you use your old team you gain your movement speed your attack speed and the aura effect is also really great for uh, kind of shutting down those physical gods when you turn into your ulti form uh, so that works out really well for that case but as far as like um, arena, I'll pick it up first and then boots. So, Haze Metal is definitely a core item. Another core item, well, at least for me, I really enjoy Stone of Gaia. Now, obviously, if you're not fighting any mages on the other team, then don't pick up Stone of Gaia. But if you're fighting, you know, at least two or so uh, mages, then Stone of Gaia is really great. So, like I said before, the HP 5 and the passive of Stone of Gaia is really good in combination with his ulti. So, you have, you have a constant flow of HP coming in um, to help you keep sustain while you're in your ulti form. And then uh, another really good item I would recommend for Vamana is Runeforge Hammer. Um, it's mainly the passive on it. It, it kind of acts like another... It, it works really well with your ulti in, in the sense of transforming your physical protections into uh, physical power. Um, so I definitely recommend that. And it's also a really cheap item. Now, as far as in the solo lane, which where you would see Vamana typically in Conquest, um, I, I see Vamana's typically pick up Runeforge Hammer as their first item. Um, now, if you're if you're not fighting another physical in the solo lane, you're fighting a magical god in the solo lane, uh, then I may start with Stone of Gaia, maybe, because uh, it's you know one is cheap and boom, you have your magical protection, and everything, and the passive, like I said before. But if you're fighting a physical god in your in your solo lane as a mana, I'd highly recommend Room for a Hammer because it's really cheap to start off, honestly, and you get a lot of stats, you know, for the price for it. Uh, but so let's go on. Haste Vitalis, you know, attack speed, movement speed, and everything. Um, Warrior Tabby, definitely get this up for your penetration. Uh, Witchblade, it, it, this is more so if you're fighting against, you know, some um, assassins or ADCs or anything like that. That may be causing you some trouble, so uh, the aura effect will definitely help shut them down uh, once you are near them. But if you don't need it, don't pick it up. You know, it's one of those, another situational item. Uh, next, um, if you watched my Smite Troll Life videos, I played a uh, I played as you know assassin Vamana and I I went all attack speed and movement speed items and Aussie was a part of that and man, my God 
Aussie was just hilarious on Vermont. I see some other Vermonters pick it up every now and then. Um, Aussie, and the reason why is the for one the huge amount of uh, huge amount of attack speed to the life steal. So once you go into your ulti form and you have Aussie paired up with Haste Mentalis, your attack speed is sitting pretty high. So um, you keep you just keep life stealing off your enemies as you just beat them down with your umbrella and chasing them down. Uh, and especially when that passive kicks in for Aussie, and you also have like Stone and Gaia, and you you know your passive on your ultimate, you just have it, it's a, a huge constant flow of HP going in. So uh, with Aussie, that allows you to get away with not buying like you know just pure defense items all, all across the board. So having Life Steal and Stone and Gaia, uh, it's just really hilarious to watch. And also with increased attack speed, it makes it easier for you to land your basic attacks. Uh, so Aussie passive kicks in, you know, sometimes you may miss a couple of your basic attacks, uh, try and get that, you know, um, Ace Mentalis active, uh, but with the high attack speed, you have a greater chance of getting that going and keeping up the pace, you know, when chasing down enemies with the, with your Ace Mentalis. Next on a guy, like I mentioned before, in Room 4 Chain right now, um, other alt alternative items. If you're, you know, having trouble, you, you like, getting to your enemies, uh, I mean, you try using your one, you know, it increases your speed and you just kind of dash forward. Uh, typically, when Valmanas dash forward into the enemy team, they're going to try to CC you as soon as possible because they know it's going to come up next. Uh, so I would recommend uh, Maggie's Blessings to help you out there in place of probably Witchblade. Um, that way, when you go in to try to use your ult, you're not getting stunned and rooted and the enemy team runs away. It just kind of helps, you know, the flow of, you know, um, you trying to fight going on there. Uh, some other, now for physical defense items, um, pretty much almost all of these are great. Uh, Sovereignty, that's more if you're just like the only support in the team, if you don't have another support or guardian, let's say. Uh, Mystical Mail works out really well. It is a little expensive, but with Haste Mentalis, you know, on on you and just beating somebody down, then Mystical Mail, you're going to get a lot of benefits from it because of the passive aura effect. It's going to keep damaging um, your enemies on top of your basic attack, so it's just a lot of damage going off all at once. Uh, hide in the minion line is one of those items if you're fighting a lot of physicals like four or so uh, physicals or just really heavy uh, burst bursty type of uh, physical gods hide in the minion line is going to work out really well for you um, as far as magical defense items uh, you can get a shield of regrowth you can pair this up with your stone and gaia um, and then if you still have aussie you have just you almost have too much uh, uh, health coming in with that shield of regrowth, but just between stone and guy shield of regrowth, that's a plenty of HP five, and then your ultimate, you just have HP five for days, uh, so that's going to help you keep sustain. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, you can get some, you know, these other like pestilence is, is obviously a situational item if you're fighting, you know, healers, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as that. Um, when fighting against Vamana. Brawler's Beast Day because of the passive uh, Divine Ruin and Pestilence. Those three items will help shut down Vamana and his health regeneration. Uh, as far as Actas for Vamana, uh, you can get Creep and Curse. Maybe a little overkill. The way you'd use this is you use your wand to you know dash in, get really close to them, pop one of these you know curses, and it slows down all the enemies so you can you know have a little bit of more time uh, to select your targets while they're slowed down and then boom activate your ulti and start pounding them in uh, and then they're they're not going to you know be able to get away from you so that's that's how you know these creeping curses can work out uh, I do not believe you can use it while in your ulti let's actually test it real quick um, ulti yeah you can't use actives so you can't you can't do any abilities or anything so um, you definitely have to use your one first and then creep and curse. So get in, creep and curse, then boom, you can select your target easily. Now, as you can see with the current items I have on now, our movement speed is insane. Uh, we're sitting at 509 um, movement speed, so that's quite a bit. Um, so our ulti is going to take a little bit to come back online. So uh, to see what our stats were when we went into our ulti, you can kind of go back in the video a little bit when I pop my ultimate, and then you can check out the stats on the lower left. Um, I forgot to mention that, but uh, his attacks right now in like in just regular form, they aren't the greatest. Uh, they're more just you know a little harassment, uh, you know, uh, damages. He obviously not going to do too much damage uh, outside of his baby form. But as you can see, with that Stone and Guy and Aussie going, uh, quite a bit of life still going on. Uh, you're going to have a lot more life regeneration once you pop your ulti, honestly. 
But outside of, you know, huge giant form these current ions have on now with this type of build, uh, 92 power, 176 physical defense, and 118 magical defense, not too bad. And our attack speed is sitting pretty nice at 1.9. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any, uh, if you have any other questions, whew, talking is tough. Let me know in the comment section below. Peace.